One of the key technologies in enabling, let's just say, electric vehicles is the control of the electric motor, the power electronics. And it's that technology which is at the heart of what we do in this building. How do we design an electric motor and the control of that electric motor so that we use energy efficiently and effectively for all transportation systems? The university has put sustainability at the heart of its strategy for the last five years and going into the future. And this building, the Power Electronics and Machines Centre, is a £40 million investment to make a unique facility in the world. There, there really isn't anywhere else like it. And also the way it's designed so that we can work closely with industry on the challenges that they have with translating those technologies directly into commercial application. We're filling a technology gap here for companies that don't have that latest capability in-house. And so this facility now gives us that capability to go to full power, full environmental conditions, be it extreme temperatures or vibration and shock treatment. But the, the essence of this in summary is to bring together initial research, integrate that into electrical systems, be able to prototype that, and then to test it in real world conditions. The university is very much aware that we have a big challenge in front of us, i.e. the move towards net zero. We all know that electrification is a key element towards achieving that, and we all know that we're not going, we as being industry, government, but us as well as academics, we're not going at the pace required to enable the change to happen. What our ambition is with Derek and the wider university is really to support an accelerated way to take electrification technologies into solutions which can make an impact on climate change.